Many homeowners are getting new high tech gas, electric and water meters these days. But what if you discover a problem you never had before right after that meter is installed? Who's responsible? Well, that's what a Warren County woman wanted to know. Erica Diaz has no hot water in her Lebanon home. It's cold. She says it happened when a contractor replacing old analog meters on her street shut off her natural gas. When they turned it back on, her water heater wouldn't light. It would light and it would go back out immediately. Mm -hmm. So she says she called the contractor, RLA, and her utility, Duke Energy, and got nowhere. Five days with no hot water? No hot water. Erica says the problem is that nobody wanted to take responsibility. And they told her that, well, maybe you have a bad hot water heater. I said there was absolutely no problem right. with my water heater before you guys came in. Finally, she called a local plumbing company, which diagnosed the problem, a burned out safety switch. It's down there, that valve. The plumbing expert suspected the valve failed when the gas went back on. And they turned the gas on. It just kind of, it was too much and it caused that thing to disengage. We contacted both companies and the contractor has now agreed to pay for the repair. So don't let this happen to you. If you suspect utility work has caused a problem, contact Duke immediately. Spokeswoman Sally Phelan says they even have an online claim form. Also call the contractor if you know their name. Most will try to help and this Warren County mom is grateful she'll soon have hot water. I have a child with special needs. We need to take showers. Yeah, it's a lot of days without a shower in this weather. Erica's plumbing company hopes to have the water heater fixed by tomorrow, five days after she, she lost that hot water. Lesson here, if you suspect an installation caused a problem, be persistent that we don't waste your money. Kristen.